All right, guys, we are starting on the video. This is the first of two part video that we usually do. And this is on the 2023 short porch cell block hangman. This is their new two piece bat. It's a 12 inch barrel. It's got the standard thin handle, 20 millimeter handle on it. What I want to do in these videos, and, and I'm going to try to shorten them up a little bit after I talk to you about the bat, tell you the feel of it, and then you'll see us hitting it. And then the next video I put out is gonna be the actual review on it. So this is kind of like, I don't know if it, you could call it a teaser video. When we first pulled it out, we started hitting it. One thing we really noticed was the flex in the handle, especially with guys over that 75 mile an hour bat speed. They were saying it's, it's too flexy for them because when you push, when you have mass like this, look at this, it's a 26 ounce and you have total weights 25.7. And then you got a big 17 ounce end load and then you got your hand weight as eight four. So it's in the middle low eights on that hand weight. When you're pushing mass like that, if you got a handle that flex is gonna flex more if your bat speed's up there. So a lot of you guys over that 75 mile an hour bat speed, you're gonna pick it up and not like it. You're gonna start miss hitting balls, timing grounding balls into the ground, you know, and you're gonna feel like you're just missing it. You know, your timing's gonna be off. If you really try to muscle up on a ball, you miss hit it because of that flex in that handle. What I think this bat is more geared toward and, and what we see with a lot of these new bat companies that are coming up is they're starting to cater to bat speeds. They're starting to cater to the age because I call it bat speeds because as you get older, your bat speed diminishes. So a lot of these bat companies that are out there, you know, the top tier bat companies that are out there are starting to cater to the miles per hour, not the only the 40s all the time. Not only the 50s and 50, not only the 60s. They're actually making bats that actually your bat speed will just, uh, determine on what bats you want to pick. And I think this bat right here, the Hangman, is more geared toward the 75 mile an hour minus guys because when you're swinging it, you don't have the bat speed that's going to make that handle flex, but it's going to flex enough for you. When you get those guys that are under that 75 mile an hour bat speed, and if you give them a bat that has a stronger handle they're going to get less performance on it than they would with one that has a more flexible handle because one of you guys that are under that 75 mile an hour bat speed you're going to get a little bit of flex on that handle and it's going to help with the performance on the barrel i think a lot of these bat companies are doing the right thing and i think that's where we got i've been doing this for 14 years guys and i like what they're doing to cater to certain bat speeds on our seniors out there. And I think it helps a lot of you guys because it's not just one pick all. Like everybody, like when I put in my top, then that's, what, that's the reason that I actually separated it with the plus mile an hour and then the minus mile an hour 75 is my number. And then you girls too, you girls are not gonna flex. So you gotta pick this up and you're gonna swing it and you're not gonna feel that flex. Under 75 miles an hour, you're not gonna feel that flex, in it, but the, it's gonna flex enough to help the barrel perform for you. One thing that we do too, and you'll, you'll see Trey doing it in the video, is placing the ball. And he did a good job at placing the ball because I wanna get into where I'm talking to you guys. We, all, we not only see the performance, but it, a lot of bats can have performance, but how much control can you have on it? You know, five, six, oh, up the middle, down the line, gaps. You know, gap or gone is what they all talk about, but hitting gaps in the outfield. So we talk about that too, and we have started talking about that more nowadays because that's where these bats are going so watch the video guys and a second video i'll kind of go into a little bit more detail on this the hangman cell block i like the sound of that bat trey 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 <laughs> <laughs> Trey, 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 Trey. Did you put Trey's name on this one? Right there, I see it. I'm all right. <laughs> hey, fuck you guys, man. <laughs> I can't help y'all out in this situation. Y'all know this, right? Y'all can't be a dick to me.
Better. I mean, it's gone. Anyway. Oh, yeah, it's gone. That was good. Yeah, I feel that time. But look where it's going. I mean, it's not even broke in. Dude. No. Shot. Take a little bit to get used to. A couple more. You're gonna hit that bat better than you hit the I don't other know. two. <laughs> I like that. Give me a couple kind of on the outside. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go middle and see how I do with this up the middle. That's yeah, it, it's good, but uh, no, you're not gonna hit that every time. No, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, that was a good pitch. I got under it. You can tell the difference too. You're ahead of it. Yep. Yeah, you're ahead of I'm it. 
the head of it. It's still good I mean, it's still getting good performance, but I'm ahead of it. You just need a lot of a lot of swings. A lot of swings with. That's what I like. Is it? Yeah. It's staying there. How many is that? Five? Shut up. <laughs> Got me like five. I can't even get him over the plate. Because he's scared. Somebody 15 years older than him out here. <laughs> Bats don't get that fucking gear, dude. Ah. No, they don't. Oh, that was a good pitch. <laughs> yeah, but look how far it's still. Yeah. That's right at 350. Yeah. That's 300. <laughs> I guess he's not that tired. enjoyed that video i got a couple of more here that i want you to take a look at and if you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button right down here below and i also have a membership channel it's that little join button that you have right down here click on it and it actually has a small video in there that explains everything in the membership plus it actually helps support what we do thanks guys